All right, we're back. And I think I want to start establishing what's going on in my water here, especially at the edge, because I want to get some light on the bushes, but I don't have that down. I'm just going to get some of that little turquoise. Some purple. Let's see what we get with that. I can put it on right about there. So, as you're watching these videos, I don't know if you pick up on things that aren't spoken about, but um, the thing that I do when I paint is. I never go, like, I'm going to go right to that edge, but I don't start painting at the edge. I always bring my color up under it and pull into it, so watch. So I have that dark down. Actually, before I even do that, I'm going to get as much of it on this side as I, as I want. I get the color on, and I'm using a pretty beat up brush here so I don't get a too sharp of a line. And I'll just sneak up on that sky where I want to put my horizon. Maybe later on I'll get some, some light reflected on that. In fact, I will leave that edge light around here, but I'm going to pull it right up into the blue. What that does is it helps me to work that edge in soft. There's no hard line back there, um, even though it, it seems because it's dark, there would be. And I'm going to come in from this side too. Keep this little line, or I might put some sunlight. Now there wouldn't be an ocean without some breakers, right? So maybe right in here. that line in because I, I, I don't want to go into the dark area here so that helps me to hold the, the white the lightness and if you've watched my other videos you notice that sometimes I'll work on a gray toned canvas um, sometimes I'll just come into it with a, a white canvas the reason I had a white canvas today because I wasn't sure what color I was going to make the sky. So, uh, in actuality, it's probably would have worked better as a um, it's a tone canvas. We're just going to lighten that shoreline up a little bit. That water will reflect the moonlight as little shapes. We'll, we'll get them back in there. But because the water is constantly moving, it's not that same effect that you would get as if you were looking at a lake. So we're holding that for now.
I just want to share with you my thought process as I was laying that in. Um, sometimes it's a feel, you know? You could go in there, I, you know, if you're looking at a photograph, many, many times they're deceiving. Tonal values are off, the colors aren't there. But a lot of times when you paint, it's about a feel, you know? You look at this and you start laying the tone in, you say, okay, that feels right. Um, and then you want to use also some of your choir knowledge as a painter. And see that something looks right. But uh, I, mean, I don't like to talk like that, you know, to feel a lot. I, I kind of believe in the science of the painting that there are certain things that happen there in nature that it's our responsibility to observe and learn about and then incorporate that into our art. But when you're kind of making a painting up like this, a lot of it's about feel. So the reason I left that area white is because I want to put in a part of, uh, of uh, the ocean that I absolutely love. And that's when that sand gets wet. You get this beautiful purple tone. And I'm going to overstate this, exaggerate that color just a little bit more. I might tone it down later, but for the time being, it's really something. It's got a little bit of yellow in there. See, it's very prevalent during the daytime because the water wets the, the shoreline and it gets this beautiful purpley red color. And then in a second it dissipates, it, it goes away. The water, the water kind of sucks out of the sand and it turns back to the grayish uh, yellow color again. But just that one moment, you get this really nice thing there. And I think I'm going to pull that in here a little bit. Later on, I'll shape that bush out back. Just hold on to that. Um, Will it happen in here? Absolutely, but I think because we're working a little bit lighter, let's build something like that into it. And because the, the, the moon's lighting up this sand here a little bit more, we might just pick up a little bit more of that yellow tone. So, let's go with that for now. Um, I will let me just tone that down a little bit because it's going to conflict with what we have going there. Here, though, it's kind of a mishmash, so I gotta really work down this foreground. And I'm staying working mostly with colors. I'm gonna push a tiny bit of black in there just to move it along. I want this foreground. read as a foreground. I don't want it to get any stuff in there. So that looks pretty good. In fact, what I'll 
want to make it even a step darker. Assessing, right? So that's kind of dark, that works. That works. This is way too light. So let's tone that down a little bit. That's just sand on the beach there, right? This can't be as light as that. So I need to knock that down a little bit. Okay, good enough. This isn't our reflected light, we're just making our water just a little bit darker here. And we'll leave that as is. Um, okay, so I can play. I'm gonna take a break and when we come back, we're, we'll put some highlights on our bushes. Um, and start working old Barney. Thanks. <laughs> 